Hi guys, welcome on the channel. Today we are going to see my photovoltaic system and you maybe see on the roof there is a lot of snow but on the shields of the roof it's really cool, it's without snow. So we will be monitoring my fans and how much it can give actually the energy in the winter, in the January, it's January 5 now, uh, temperature minus 8 and it seems maybe today will be sunny day. We will see, I'm not sure, but we will monitor it and we will check it how much power I am receiving from, from my photovoltaic. So we will look on the roof now. You see, this is the north side, uh, there is also one photovoltaic and it's completely covered with the snow. So here is nothing extra special. On this side we see 90 degrees, perfect, clean, so it will run full power. Maybe here we will make a little bit, <laughs> a little bit less snow. And here is the south side. You see completely covered, completely covered and frozen. It will not go down, I think, even when the sun comes up. On the other side, it's not the sun, it's the moon. And here you have my fence. It is two-sided, actually. You see, this is the west string, what you see in the blue color. And they are mostly not connected. This one is not connected. This one and those six, it is one string of nine panels. Then we have here nine panels. It is another string. This is the east side. From the other side, on the back, it is the west side. It is another string. And then you see my shed for the wood. This is another string, also nine panels, east side. And from the other side, we have also nine panels. It is clean also from the other side, but there is a lot of snow, I am not going there. So uh, we will just mark it like it is now. And I think it is fine for the show up. So at the end, we have actually two, four, here is the five, fifth string. Six is also on the roof, but it's also covered with the snow. And we have on the shield also from the other side. Maybe I will show you. I think we can do that shortly, but I think there will be a little bit snow. You can see actually here, it is the back side. And I don't know, maybe, maybe we will check it here, but it seems like there is some kind of snow on it, you see, a little bit because the angle is 75 degrees. So <clears throat> at the end we have totally connected eight strings and one is actually 75 degrees west. There will be no sun whatsoever and one string on the shed uh, on the top that is also covered with the snow. So at the end we have only six strings that can actually work. It, it is, let me say, 24 kilowatt peak installed and I just wonder how much power I can get today. The sun is coming out a little bit. You can see on the fence like we still have some kind of shadows, but it's already shining and it's doing over a three kilowatt anyway in the winter time. And if you imagine <laughs> the roof, then the roof is doing actually nothing. It's zero, zero, zero. When you have the snow, the same is the shed and the roof on the shed where you have 10 centimeters of the ice and snow. Uh, there is nothing coming in the string. So. Uh, definitely maybe some of you wonder how is it connected and definitely I used uh, always two parallel strings. It means the east and the west side together on one line on one MPPT on one input and I have MPPTs with two inputs. So that's why I have actually connected eight strings into two MPPT channels with two inputs. So I have four inputs but I have on it eight strings, actually. I could have even much higher voltage and it could be much higher strings, uh, maybe like string of, let me say 20 panels. It should be possible, but I am not using the high voltage on the fence. So definitely, I think it's enough. It is about 300 volt and that's nice. If you will be running 20 panels, 22 panels, uh, you will be running around 1000 volt and that's a little bit crazy but it's still possible. You see, uh, I have covered all my cables and when it is finished, there will be no cables at all to see. All cables will be inside of the fence, so it is covered. 
and uh, nobody should be hurt unless they start to breaking the fence. So this is the point. I see the shadow on the shed is nearly gone and I think the power now it should be about maybe three, three and a half kilowatt, which is quite nice. And we will see what the weather will show, but I see the clouds are start to coming. You see there is the sun somewhere behind the trees and the clouds are coming. Maybe maybe they will reach me, maybe no, but probably yes. It's not the forecast for the sunny day. So we will see and anyway we will look on it how it is in the data sheet and in the numbers. In the numbers. Okay guys, we are on the computer. I am sitting on it and I will show you how looks my system. I told you I have many strings. Here you can see PVP up to four. It is the main roof uh, that is covered with the snow. And five, six, seven, eight. It is the eight strings of the fence. Yeah. And when we see here, you see the voltage of those high voltage. It is 20, 23 panels in the serial. There should be about 800 volts and there is only 240. And it's covered with the snow and the power, the amps, zero, 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 zero. It means nothing. You get nothing when you have the snow on the roof and this is the fence and you see this 5.95 it is actually uh, the shed the east string it is doing uh, let me say the most of the power let me say uh, 5 amps uh, could be coming from the east side and the rest will be from the west side and the same it's coming a little bit here uh, 135 we have the house uh, let me say the north and the west string on the on the shield and there is still shadow so there is coming nothing and here is the roof of the shed with one string on the west side which is actually the blue one we have seen those three panels and six panels together so it is more or less doing the bifacial power let me say and something is coming also from the west side but it's only diffusion light <coughs> but we still have about 3300 watts on the photovoltaic 350 and about 3 kilowatt and 160 watt is coming to the system actually on the 380 volts from those i am charging with my victrons uh, to the batteries so it could be let me say something about 60 amps we have on the terminal but there is already some kind of consumption so I am now charging only 20 amps and I can show you that. Here we have also the monitoring what is coming. You see 3000 3, watt actually now and it is let me say five minutes before because the system is a little bit low. You can see I had a really big consumption. I was charging the batteries over the night when the energy was cheap. And here we have start of the photovoltaic that's the green one and actually all is coming into the consumption of the house because we are charging so then it's why we have nothing uh, fit to the grid i will go to the battery here you can see my amazing box it is with the three bit inside and you have four boxes 300 terminals <laughs> 300 quadrat millimeters terminals and all four boxes are connected to the system and at the moment we are charging, we have 80% full. We still need to charge over 250 amps to full stage. And we are charging 25 amps, which is quite nice, I think. Uh, we see the voltages of the cells. It's not so bad because it is measuring all four boxes. So we have only about 200 uh, of the volt difference, which is not so bad because I didn't uh, actually calibrate uh, those BMSs so much so there is all time a little bit deviation but uh, the cells are and boxes uh, very good balanced at the moment and there is it you see those three victrons that they are charging so that's the system that we are running on and I will show you at the end uh, how much was the power okay guys uh, now we are on my computer again this time we are directly in the system and we are going to see how much was the power for today. Let me introduce the system. You see here the grid, the load on the house and the photovoltaic. It's already over, so we have no more coming uh, from the sun. And here on the green line, we can see in the graph our photovoltaic. That was generated 19.95.
it means close to 20 kV and I think it is very, very nice. Because if you imagine how many hours that the sun was coming here, starting uh, maybe somewhere 8 and uh, ending somewhere maybe 15, 16, 4 o'clock p.m. It is very short time and in this time just the fence did actually 20 kW. I think this is really amazing uh, if we imagine uh, that also the sunlight uh, wasn't perfect, there were a little bit clouds, still something, but we have nothing coming actually from the main roof. So <laughs> that's really uh, the point because we would like to see how was actually the fence uh, developing and improving the system. Last year, for example, I didn't have the fence and uh, only what I was and had it was on the house, it was the roof and actually those two shields on the sides, on the east and on the west, it was the only one I had and that's why I actually built a fence because I was seeing like, okay, everywhere is snow, but now I am getting actually the power from the small photovoltaic strings on the side of the house. So I decided we build a big fence uh, with the photovoltaic. I will go to the other page and here I can actually select uh, the things. I have already did the photovoltaic input so we can see the power line 5 and 7 it is the MPPT, 5, 6 it is the same, it is the green line you see it is very similar to the blue line uh, there is not so big difference at all here was maybe a little bit depth uh, probably some kind of I will go to the other page and here I can actually select uh, the things I have already did the photovoltaic input so we can see the power line 5 and 7 it is the MPPT, 5, 6 it is the same it is the green line, you see it is very similar to the blue line, uh, there is not so big difference at all, here was maybe a little bit depth, uh, probably some kind of shadows, but it's not so dramatic at the end I guess, with the small voltage drop around 10 o'clock. So we will go here, we will close it and we will pick again, we will pick only amps uh, from the photovoltaic 5, 6, 7, 8. So let me go the search. So we have the blue and green, it is the 5.6. I think it was very nice when we had actually 5, here is even 6 amps on those 300 volts from the system, actually maybe 320. I think it was the very nice at the beginning. And photovoltaic input 7 and 8, it is the house, let me say the 7 is the house. Uh, it means the side of the house, yeah, so we have from the east and from the west two strings and actually input 8 is two parallel strings. Uh, like I told you, there is six panels blue and three panels uh, blue. They are in the one line connected uh, as a one nine panel string. And this one, it was actually the only one who could do some kind of power. So that's why we have much, much less power. But if you imagine like it is the bifacial, it's not so bad at the end because here on the beginning it's making the same power, close to same power, like two strings actually that were on the house. <clears throat> so I think it's not so bad actually the bifacial alone when you want to build the fence or the wall from them. So we see uh, there was really a nice peak and you see like it is coming down the blue and green and a little bit coming up. It is exactly because we have here, let me say, the because the the wall of the of those panels it is uh, self oriented <clears throat> and uh, there is the smallest power actually about this time actually 12 12 20 it could be like this in this time and then it is coming uh, much higher up uh, for example in the in the summertime it will be amazing it will start somewhere maybe i don't know six o'clock five o'clock and it will go and pump very up it will go again to the 12 a little bit down and then it goes here and then go the west, uh, let me say about 10 o'clock in the, let me say July, even maybe August, it can go so far in my conditions here. So it will be very nice M curve and it will give me a lot of power because in the middle of that what I have on the, on the house, there will come this bump, this classic uh, bump on the south and it will actually fulfill the curve so I will have all the time, uh, let me say, very consistent power output. 
Actually, it will start in the summer. Let me say 6, 647. I will have already maybe 10, 15 kilowatt. And it will go steady a little bit higher up to 30. Let me say 8 o'clock. There will be full power. Let me say 30 kV. And uh, we go with 30 kV, let me say to 18. And then it will go maybe slowly down. Uh, and and somewhere let me say 10 o'clock maybe so it will be like uh, 14 hours of a lot of power and i am expecting uh, the next year i will produce uh, something about 45 megawatt uh, with my total photovoltaic plant and uh, i think in the summertime will be running everything even what is not now connected so it will be about uh, 80 80 85 uh, kilowatt peak installed <coughs> Okay, so I think uh, I have shown you uh, what is going on, how is this fan really working. Uh, there will be a very nice example, even if I build, for example, the orientation not uh, straight to south, but actually south oriented uh, with the 90 degrees. I think it will be coming in the next years if I make the upgrade a little bit further. And uh, I think in the summer uh, it will be not so efficient because the sun will be shining really high but in the winter it could bring some fruit i guess because actually this one like it is coming here and dropping down uh, the south oriented panel will make the curve again on the top on the south and it goes down so i could actually even for the winter time when the roof is fully covered fulfill here the gap and make a little bit more i don't know how much uh, for example consume your household but uh, I think average about 10, maybe 12 kilowatt. I think it is the standard uh, for the electricity that you will need to maybe make a hot water and uh, a little bit electricity, computers, TV, internet, uh, phones, uh, cooking and those things. I think 10 kilowatt daily is OK. And uh, if you are running uh, also the battery system and you can imagine we have produced even uh, in the 5th January 20 kW. So I mean 20 kilowatt hours. It's enough for two days, actually, and you can run uh, without problems. If you have a nice buffer, like, let me say, maybe 90, 96 uh, kilowatt hours uh, battery pack, the storage of the energy, then you can handle 10 days. So definitely when you have two weeks, maybe of very bad weather, but even with the bad weather, I was doing about sometimes two, sometimes uh, seven, five, nine, twelve, eight something i always do some kind of power and uh, in the such a nice day like was today you can easily uh, charge up a little bit more even for another days as a reserve or uh, pick up some handicap and a little bit get also <coughs> uh, fresh so i think uh, my system is already even in the winter time able to cover 100 percent of the electricity in the for the for the home for the household and not for the heating i think for the heating it's not enough i have very bad no isolation whatsoever so i have to heat up externally and if you have house who is really new one like let me say build up in the 2020 plus uh, i think it will be a b c up maximum c um, let me say the class of the heat isolation and when you have loose like i don't know free kw uh, then maybe with some kind of heat pump, uh, you can maybe even run the heating on this system uh, with your home, even in the winter time. So it was something on the end and thank you for the watching and I will see you on the next. Bye bye. Bye bye.